Bye, shit. It's fucking lit. That's my shit, you feel me? <laughs> That's my shit, bro, you feel me? That's my shit, bro. My shit. What's good, y'all, man? Welcome to the real estate one, man. It's your boy, isn't they? Today's gonna be a little bit different video. Like, I know y'all used to the reactions, and I was gonna talk about this in a reaction video, but I said, yo, let me just make a video. If people don't watch it, it is what it is, you feel me? Because this is for me. This ain't really for anybody else. As you can see from what I just showed y'all, I accomplished one of my goals. That's gonna be the title of today's video. I accomplished one of my goals. And as y'all see from the clip that I just showed y'all, I bought my first car. I told y'all a little bit in the community post, you feel me? But I wanted to make a video t for it because it's like, yo, this is a big thing for me. I'm gonna explain more, but this is really a big thing for me. So it's like, yo, I wanna make a video. I wanna show my subscribers and my, the clock gang, you feel me? I wanna show y'all what I've been working on because I haven't uploaded in like six days and that's not really something that I like to do. So I said, yo, let me make a video. Yeah, man, I accomplished one of my goals, you feel me? I got a clip that I'm gonna show y'all, showing you some of the goals. Yo, you see, yo, this is crazy, bro. I'm not saying this is only in New York, but look at this shit, bro. A black cat and he got yellow eyes. It, it, it was no way that I was not putting that in the video. Yo, he's wildin', bro. <laughs> I'm about to zoom in. I'm about to zoom in. Yo, he is wildin', bro. <laughs> he's wildin'. That's how it be, though. This is one of my goals that I've been working on for a long time, you feel me? Like, that's the thing that I kind of don't like about people is they'll see that I have a car now and they be like, oh yeah, he got a car now, he acting different or, oh yo, you got, or people would think it's easy. That's what I'm trying to say. Like people would think it's easy. They'd think, oh, he just up and went and got a car. No, bro. I've been trying to get a car for the past two years. Ever since the pandemic started, you know, I don't know if everybody was dealing with it the same as far as like money wise. Like I was working at a job. I ain't really like it. So if y'all don't, for the people that don't know me or the people that don't, you know, that haven't watched some of my vlog videos because I've made some, I don't want to work for nobody. You feel me? If I could just do YouTube, well, I'm not going to say if because I know that's what's going to happen. It's just, you know, everything takes time. But once I'm able to just do YouTube, my life is going to be great. Well, I also do music, too. I'll explain that more in this video, too. This might be a long video, so just please try to watch the whole thing through. I got a lot to talk about. But when I could be able to not work for nobody, which I'm probably not going to go back to doing. I'm going to find ways to make money. But when I could literally create content for a living, you feel me? My life is going to be great. But I was working a job in, like, March 2020. And I ain't really like it. I'm not going to lie to you. And then that's when the pandemic started. So I don't know if it's been the same for everybody as far as like money. Like if you got laid off or you quit your job and you was getting unemployment or anything like that. Because I know I got different age ranges of people that watch me. Like it's not that many young people. I, I mean, I want y'all to start watching me. You feel me? Because I'm not that much older than you. But I don't know how it was for everybody in different states and all that, but I was in New York and I was not going back to that job, especially the job that I was doing. I definitely would have got COVID. But when the pandemic started, you feel me? I was working. It was a cool job. I didn't really like it. Like the money was good, but I quit and I started going on unemployment. And that's when they was giving us the crazy amount for the pandemic relief. So, right, I got all of my stimulus checks. I got three of them. I, I saved all of those. Then I was getting 500 a week from unemployment, like 550 or something like that. So I was saving that every week. I didn't save all my money. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I didn't save every single dollar, but I saved a crazy amount. 
So the point I'm trying to make is I've been trying to manifest getting a car for the last two years. It's not like this is something that happened overnight. It's not like, you you feel me, this year I just said, all right, yo, I'm getting a car. Nah, bro, that's not how it went down. You feel me? That is not how it went down. I've been trying to get a car for the last two years. I could have been bought a car. I could have bought a car a long time ago. But you feel me? When it's the right time, it's going to happen. And this was the right time. You feel me? And the reason I upload the last couple of days is because I've been running around. Like when people say, yo, when you buy a car, you're going to deal with a lot of stuff. They not lying, bro. They are not lying, bro. You're going to deal with mad stuff. Number one, you got to register it. Like if you don't already have a car or a license, you got to register your car. You got to get inspection. You got to get plates. So you got to do all of that. And in New York, we got called the Department of Motor Vehicles. I don't know what it's called in other states. But in New York, we, it's called the Department of Motor Vehicles. You got to go there. I was there. I did all of this yesterday. I was there ass crack of dawn, bro. Early in the morning, bro. Got up at 6 a.m. I didn't get home till 9 o'clock at night. So I went to the DMV. I got my plates. I got my registration. I got my inspection. I did all of that. And then I had to, you know, take care of stuff on the car because... When you buy a used car, you ain't, it's not, it's going to have problems. I got a used car and it's mad old. So you feel me? You're going to deal with stuff. Yesterday, bro, I was running around all day long. Like I'm not lying to you. I left at 6 a.m. and I ain't get home till nine o'clock and at night. I was out all day. And the last couple days I've been dealing with stuff with the car, trying to, you know, trying to get everything done so that I could drive and I could drive today. So I'm gonna take care of some more stuff, but I wanted to get a video to y'all, you feel me? Because I know a lot of content creators say this, but I want y'all to be part of my family, you feel me? I want my subscribers, the clock gang. If you're not in tune with what the clock gang mean, bro, that's what I call my subscribers, bro. The clock gang, because the name of my channel is The Realist Hour, right? And I want my logo to be a clock, so I'm going to call y'all the clock gang. So if you're not in tune, bro, get in tune. I want y'all to know more about me, right? I don't really only want to do reaction videos. Like, there's a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to talk about the car, which I mainly already did. But, like, I want this video to be about goals as well. You see these goals right here? These are my other goals for 2022. Right, but that's just for this year. I got goals that's long term for five, ten years, but these goals is for this year. And do I think I'm gonna hit all of them? Maybe not, you feel me? But I'm a damn sure a try. That's all that it's about. If you got something that you wanna do, you feel me? If you got something that you wanna do, bro, just do it. Like, don't wait for nobody. There's no excuse. You gotta just get it done. That's all that matters. If you know that you worked your hardest, nobody could tell you nothing. That's why I'm naming it the the one I accomplished one of my goals, not just yo I bought a car cuz that's not what it's about. This video is not only about me buying a car. It's literally about how I accomplished something that I put my mind to. I saved my money and I was patient. That's a, that's something that you have to learn. You got to be patient, you got to put your mind to it and you got to be smart about it. It's not only about, this video is not only about buying a car. It's like, yo, I accomplished something that I want to do, that I wanted to do, that I put my mind to. And there's a lot more things that I want to do. And YouTube, I love YouTube, bro. Like, there's so much stuff that I be wanting to upload, but in my head, that's not content. Like, when I go out with my friends, we be recording mad stuff, but to me, that's not content. I don't think that that's content. But now that I've been watching, because I always watch mad you like i love youtube so i watch different youtubers like and i'll be watching duke dennis and agent all that and they and phantom and they be showing mad like they just be showing random stuff so it's like yo i'm i'm not gonna do it yet you feel me because the reaction videos is what's working like we had as of right now today is friday march 25th bro we had 2200 subs and you know what's crazy about that Bro, if you're watching this video, bro, 
don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't get something done because this channel that i'm uploading this video to started with zero subscribers bro nothing i did not have nothing i had another channel with 60 subscribers bro you feel me i'm not lit on youtube i'm not a popular ass person like i'm a cool person you feel me a lot of people fuck with me because i'm a genuine person but i'm not mixy and i'm not a popular person this is to my new york people as well if you're watching this y'all gonna know some of the words that i'm saying if you don't you feel me i'll explain it to you in the comments but mixy is basically like popular like you outside a lot you feel me you you in tune with people and stuff that's not me bro i'm a homebody you feel me i got a lot of friends but that's just genuine people you get what i'm saying like i'm not in the streets i'm not popular i'm really not popular bro i'm just a cool ass person so it's like i started this youtube channel with zero bro nothing nothing no viewers no fans no subscribers nothing bro and i'm at 2200 subscribers you feel me that is crazy like it don't feel like a lot to me no more because i'm kind of getting used to to getting videos that get a lot of views or gaining subscribers so i want the shit to keep growing but I, sometimes I got to sit back and live in the moment like, yo, I started with nothing, bro. Zero. Because I had an old YouTube channel. Like I said, it had 60 subs. Like, I wanted to do YouTube years ago. But my mind wasn't strong enough to deal with the fact that when you first start something, nobody cares about you, bro. Nobody gives two shits about you when you first start. Nobody cares. I'm telling you, nobody gives a shit about you. You're going to upload your video and you're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to be lit. No, you're not. Nobody knows you. Nobody cares about you. It's really the it's it's harsh and it's harsh and it's fucked up. But it's the truth. Nobody gives a shit about you when you first start. They don't care who you are. They don't know who you are. So nobody's going to watch it. You get what I'm saying? So you got to grind. You got to upload. You got to be consistent and you're going to grow a fan base. It's crazy because it's so much shit that I could talk to you all about. Like, now that I'm really sitting here getting hyped while I'm recording this video, like, it's so much advice that I could give y'all that I've learned over these past two years. Because I've been doing YouTube on this channel since the end of 2019. Right? And that's when I started taking it serious. But these last two years, bro, like, I've been learning a lot of stuff about life, about YouTube. Like, my whole mentality changed. If y'all met, if y'all knew who I was three years ago i was completely different so it's like i'm getting hyped like i really want to show y'all so much stuff like that i do i want y'all to see my life i want to get i want y'all to get to know the person that i am you feel me it's this video is not only about the car like it's about way more stuff than that you feel me like i have a bigger agenda agenda than just showing y'all that i bought a car like you feel me and i'm not lying i'm sitting in my car right now like <laughs> I'm sitting in my car and this is where I grew up at. So it's like, bro, this video is bigger than that. And I'm and the thing is, right, like I love reaction videos and shit, but I'm way more talented than that, bro. I got so much stuff I could do. Like I'm mad funny, bro. Like I have matched like I'm athletic. You feel me? I want to show y'all basketball videos, but I got to get surgery. Like, yo, life hits you, bro. The older you get, like. For the younger people watching this shit, the older you get, bro, stuff is gonna happen. Like, it's not just life is not just all gravy, bro. Like, like stuff things are gonna happen to you. But if y'all want me to do more videos like this, yo, spam that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button. You feel me? Let me know that y'all want to see videos like this. Cause I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to talk a little bit more, but I don't want this video to be mad long. Cause I already know people ain't going to watch the shit, but the point I'm trying to make is bro. I got goals that I want to accomplish. You feel me? I started this YouTube channel with no subscribers, bro. Absolutely nothing. As of March 25th, 2, 230 PM, bro. I'm at 2,200 subscribers. I had a partner that I started this shit with. That shit is done for. So if you go back and watch my old videos, here you go. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. I started the YouTube channel with somebody. They was not on the same type of time and the mentality that I was. They're not the same age as me. They're not the same maturity as me. And if they, if he, yo, if you watch this video, it is what it is, man. Like, I know you're not going to watch it, but I don't even want to talk too much about it but the point is is i started this youtube channel with somebody 
so that's why you see videos with somebody else on it that is no longer the case it's just me you feel me and i'm grinding you feel me i got too much goals to let anything affect me i have too much talent and and energy and good energy and and shit like that to to let anything affect me like that video because i watched phantom video before before i left the crib today if y'all know who phantom is he's part of amp and he's from new york too so i understand a lot of the stuff he was saying in that video and it was really hitting home for me like if you a good person you feel me you can't let negative people bring you down you you, you can't let that happen because a lot of energy a lot of people energy be way off but yo if like i said man this video was about how i accomplished one of my goals man i got my car you feel me so i can start doing a lot more stuff if y'all want me to do it it's all about what y'all want me to do you feel me because i have a lot of stuff that i want to do and i want to put on this channel because it's not a reaction channel if you see it's just say the realest hour it's never been the realest hour reacts because i've never just been a reactor like i have so much more shit i could do but I'm not going to put all my time into time and energy into something and it's not resulting in anything. It's like that to me, that's pointless. Why would I put out vlog videos and nobody is watching it? It doesn't make sense. So it's like, y'all got to let me know what y'all want to see from me. Y'all got to be more interactive with me. Comment on my community posts, comment on my videos like, yo, we want to see more vlogs. You feel me? Share my videos to other people if you fuck with me. Like. It's all up to y'all, you feel me? Like, I gotta put the work in. I gotta upload videos and shit. But I gotta see the support for me to continue to keep doing it. Because I got millions of ideas. But I'm not gonna execute it if the shit is not working out. So, like I said, this video is about how I accomplished one of my goals, man. I hope I can inspire other people to do the same, you feel me? Anybody that's younger than me, if you want to get a car, bro, it don't rush into it. It take a long time time for you to find the right thing unless you got somebody doing it for you that's the yeah see that's the last thing i want to say before i end this shit this is all me you feel me this is my bread this the insurance is in my name you feel me everything is mine like nobody helped me do anything you get what i'm saying so it's like this shit is all me now if you got somebody helping you that's different but if you want to get a car right take your time bro be patient it, it's not something that's gonna happen quickly you gotta you gotta take your time with it but like i said i hope i i can inspire people to to manifest their goals you feel me accomplish their goals get things done in their life shit if you want to be a youtuber you can hit me up and ask me any questions bro but i'm not gonna give information to people that aren't serious about it it's pointless but that being said, man, it's your boy Zente, you feel me? It's the realest hour. Join the clock gang, man. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. I love y'all, man. I'ma holla at y'all. GG's. Look. Louie. I'm just coolin', nigga. I'm just what? Yeah. I'm just coolin', nigga. You know the vibes. I'm just coolin', nigga. Uh. Prince D, hot C. Look, I done came a long way from that shy guy. Now everybody calling me that fly guy. Every time I fly by, look, see the eyes wide. Like they seen a UFO, know the same sci fi. This is real, give a F how you feel. You a hater, do me a favor, act like you know the drill. This the deal, keep